Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today I have the newest John Paul Gaultier Lamel Elixir. I bought this directly from John Paul Gaultier's website here in the UK for about 100 British pounds, I believe, for the 125 milliliter. And I believe you get a 10% off as well if you sign up to their newsletter. So it's quite good. It brings it down to 90 British pounds. So enough of that. Let's just take a look at the packaging. So as you can see, this is kind of a typical John Paul Gaultier packaging. So as you can see, these are the contents. There's some free samples. There's a postcard. And then there's the tote bag. It's quite nice. And that's a beauty pouch, I believe. And the bottle. So presentation wise, the tin or box, however you want to call it, is the same as the other Lamals. The only difference is that this is a gold and black combination, which is quite nice. I do like the design, it's kind of cool, I guess. As you see, that's the Parfum Natural Spray, 125 milliliter let's just go ahead and open this up so the bottle looks something like this the only key difference i would note is that the neck ring this one is massive compared to the others uh to the other lamal flankers which is quite a new thing i guess but yeah this is massive compared to the others let's take a look at the spray it's decent it's quite good so looking on Fragrantica Lamal Elixir is an amber and fougere fragrance for men and is also categorized under the vanilla, sweet, amber and aromatic categories. Uh, looking at the top notes is lavender and mint, the middle notes is benzoin and vanilla and the base notes is honey, tobacco and tonka bean. So I've been giving this fragrance a very good wear, I would say maybe 8 to 10 hours. And I can say that the opening starts off with a very, very similar vibe to the original Lamal. Uh, just because of the lavender and mint in the opening, it just gives off that impression. But after about half an hour to an hour, I get a very strong resemblance to Lamal Le Parfum in the black bottle, as well as the Ultramil, which is the sweet, kind of a bubblegum sweet fragrance for some reason. I just feel like this Lamal Elixir is a good combination between the three most popular fragrances for men uh, from Jong Pogotier. I feel like they all mix all of the fragrances into one bottle and you get Lamal Elixir. That's what I think. And going back to the note breakdown, I also feel this is kind of similar to the Armani flankers for some reason, mainly because of the benzoin, the vanilla and the tonka bean. It's heavily used in the Armani flankers. So if you don't enjoy kind of a vanilla strong, I would say tonka bean dominated fragrances, then I would suggest you to give this a try. Maybe get a sample of this to kind of test this on your skin on clothes to see whether you will like this. But other than that, this is a easy 8 out of 10 for me. The projection and longevity could be better given that this is an elixir or a perfume concentration I would you know I would think that this would last long but personally I get maybe 8 to 10 hours of longevity projection I would say that it projects about a room's length and then it just simmer down to six foot radius and then to a skin scent after about two hours I just think that this fragrance cannot compare to Dior Sauvage Elixir because Dior Sauvage Elixir as you can imagine is much more nuclear uh, in terms of projection longevity but this I would say it's all right it's not the worst it's not the best so you know it's a it all comes down to opinion but again scent wise this is really good I think that you should definitely try this but I wouldn't recommend you paying full price because it's quite similar to the other flankers that I've mentioned before as well as the Armani code flanker lineup and yeah that is my honest opinion on this fragrance if you want to see more let me know what you want to see next and i will as usual i will see you all in my next video